name's Lauren. My name's Mel. And we've been together five years. My name's Amy. And I'm Matthew. We've been together for five years now. Yeah. yeah. Five long years. <laughs> I'm Kristen, I'm 23. I'm Thomas Gordon, I'm 25 years old. And we've been together for six years. My name is Andrew and we've been together three years. And my name's Rachel. Should we do that again? <laughs> my mum's got um, HD. She's in the early stages. My dad has HD uh, and also my sister has HD as well. My mum was diagnosed about ten years ago now. My mum has HD. She started displaying symptoms when I was in early high school. The first time I spoke about HD with Matt was about two months after we'd started seeing each other. I wanted to tell him about it before he met my parents. I was very nervous to try and get to help someone ex understand it. It's very difficult to do. I didn't really know anything so it was hard to sort of talk about it and put my like opinion on it. I think it was a really difficult conversation for Andrew to have. I could see that he was struggling while telling me about it, but I really appreciated how honest he was about it and they could trust me with it. I didn't know anything about the illness at all. And then after I, I did some research, I quickly realised like how sort of bad it is and how little people know about it. So, you know, uh, I was quite shocked. It was pretty uh, heartbreaking news, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. When I first met her mum, it was not strange, but she'd forewarned me, she won't really talk to her. Um, she, she, she actually, she did speak to me quite a bit, didn't she? Mm. She's more of a just one-liners, and when she did say something to me, it'd be quite funny. I think she was more nervous than I was. When I was about 16, um, I'd done a lot of reading about HD and I kind of had in my mind that I would want to be tested, um, just for peace of mind for, re for me really, to plan my life. I met Matt in the process, told him about my plans, which he fully supported. I think it was bothering you, wasn't it, the not knowing, and that she couldn't deal with not knowing. It was a big shock, but I've got lots of support, especially from Matt, my friends and like my dad. It was a big, it was a huge thing. Yeah, but, but it didn't bother you? No. I think we dealt with it really well. We always spoke about it, which really helped. So any problems or worries I had, we always spoke about. The decision to get tested was something that we both talked about a lot before I even started counselling or anything like that. He would come back from appointments and he'd maybe got told something new and trying to process it was like we did that together, but again, that was quite tough. Um, and the, the final appointment was particularly tough when we did get the result. I've well, decided I don't want the test and I don't want to know. So therefore we are living our lives as if it's not, I have, like it's not there. I've, we're just trying to get on with our yeah. lives and like, a normal, enough, like a normal couple, yeah. rather than having this big cloud over us. Kristen notes um, that I want to get tested. I do eventually, when we look to have kids, I do want to get tested. The thing that worries me about it is, obviously I can get tested for it. Um, you know, say if I do come back positive, then obviously there's stuff in place that we can do, like IVF and stuff like that. But the thing that worries me about that is it's invasive and it's going to be invasive for you as, as well as it is for me. You know, it's invasive yeah. for both of us, so I've got to make sure that, you know, that it's not just about me, it's got to be something that you're willing to do. And I think we've both sat there and we've both kind of said that it is something that we would look at. We are currently um, in the process of having IVF um, and with the PGD. We knew that was something that we definitely wanted to do, yeah. um, just to eliminate any possibility of our future child having HD. If there's something I can do to prevent it from going any further in my family, then I'll do everything I can to stop it. You can still live a completely normal life with HD. Um, we're getting married, we're it's gonna have question. babies. So it, you can live just a normal life. Just communication and honesty. I think that is the biggest piece of advice I would give anyone because the fact that we've always talked about it and we've always been so honest, it's helped our relationship because we've always just talked about everything. Mm -hmm. 
don't let it hold you back. If I am affected by it and I do test positive, it's never going to stop me from doing the things that I want to do. I think HD has had a positive impact on our relationship and it just goes to show how committed Matt is to me. It's made us much closer, yeah. much stronger, definitely. Like I feel I know you more and obviously like the, the family and that as well. We've had to talk more. Um, communication is a big part and honesty is a big part of our relationship because it's hard to be from the start. So I just think it made our relationship stronger, mm -hmm. dealing with all of that. It was one of the hardest times, wasn't it? And yeah. We got through it, so it's only made us stronger. I would totally agree with that. It has made us stronger in a way, mm -hmm. in some kind of odd way, but it has. Mm -hmm.